what if I told you that at my home, I drink every day? You know, I smoke marijuana and crack and all this stuff there. Let's say that I argue and fight every day. Let's say that I watch pornography every day. Let's say I am bringing women over and having sex with them and just living any how or any way I want to. What do you expect in a spiritual way would I be attracting angels, <laughs> Jesus, God, and heavenly spirits to my home if I was to do all those things? Now, with common sense, <laughs> my Lord, many people would say no. Because if you are drinking and getting drunk, smoking weed and crack and doing all these drugs and other drugs, and you are having sex before marriage, watching pornography, perhaps these rated R movies, horror movies, and all that stuff there. If you were to do all those things, for a person that uses their common sense, that is going to tell you that you are not really going to attract anything positive to your life. You are not going to attract heavenly spirits to your home. There is no way. But there are some people who are really surprised that they are having problems with demons. You are setting up the atmosphere for demons. And you are surprised when they come. It is like you are bringing the popcorn for them. You have a sign. It is like you have a sign on your home, please come in demons. You are creating an atmosphere for the demons to stay in your home, but you are surprised that demons are plaguing you. <laughs> Let me say this. Let's say that you repent of your sins. You read your Bible each day. You are praying each day as well. You are fasting every so often, perhaps. You are staying away from lust whether you are single or not. Perhaps you go to church and you are following the rules and regulations of the Bible. What do you believe is going to happen? You are going to attract heavenly spirits. Of course, demons may try to mess with you and stuff like that, but mainly, I believe the Spirit of God is going to rest at your home, as in His presence. Of course, God can be in more than one place at one time, so please understand that. So, if you are being plagued with demons, for instance, this woman that 
I contact every so often, she was telling me before, like every home she goes to or every home she would move to, it would be haunted. I don't think it was haunted per se, but I believe that the activities of her life, she was attracting demons to her life. So every home she went to, the demons would follow. Make sense? Yes. So now you know how to get rid of demons. Stop making or creating an atmosphere for the demons to stay. If you are praising and worshiping God every day, there is no way demons can stay in a presence like that. There is no way. How can demons be somewhere where you are living for God and you are praising and worshiping God all day, every day? They can't live in an atmosphere like that unless God allows demons to do certain things to you. But other than that, no. Demons can't mess with you. So, many of the time, we are our own enemy. We hurt ourselves because of ignorance. So stop creating an atmosphere for demons to linger around. My Lord. Well, Kevin, I really like sinning. So why are you coming to me asking for help? I can't just pray for you and get the demons to stop messing with you, per se, if you are or if it is your will to continue to sin. I can't make you stop sinning. Now, I can pray to ask God to change your mind about sin, help you change your life, but ultimately, it is up to you to change your life. I can't come to your home. Hey, <laughs> stop bringing all these men and women in your home and having orgies and sex and stuff like that. Or stop doing these drugs and all that stuff there. I can't do that. Ultimately, it is up to you. I can pray for you, but in the end, it is your choice. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.